What's up guys, Andrew here and this is my full review on the Lenovo Yoga 700. The Yoga line of laptops have been very popular ever since the introduction of the first Yoga. What we're looking at today is the 11 inch model of the Yoga line. This is aimed at consumers who want something small and lightweight to take on the road. Okay, so let's break down the specs. You're getting an 11.6 inch Full HD IPS panel, an Intel Core M36 Y30, 128GB SSD, 4GB of RAM, and the retail price of this notebook is $600. Keep in mind, you can't catch this on sale at Best Buy for around $499. The design and build quality of the Yoga 700 looks pretty solid. The exterior is made out of this plastic finish that looks very similar to the Yoga 3. The weight of this notebook comes in at 2.42 pounds and its thickest point is 0.62 inches. This is one super lightweight notebook. The interior has this brushed metal finish that adds a nice touch to the overall look and feel. Take a look at this beauty. This thing is gorgeous. Here are the ports on the right side of the notebook. First of all you have your power status indicator, power button, one key recovery pin, orientation lock, volume rockers, headset microphone jack combo, and a USB 2. On the left side you got your charging port, USB 3, micro HDMI, and an SD card reader. The overall design and build quality of the Yoga 700 is actually pretty solid, just like most Lenovo laptops. The bottom base is made out of this plastic finish and it feels pretty durable. There is also very minimal flex as well. This notebook has an 11.6 inch IPS display that is actually pretty decent. The resolution is 1920 by 1080p and it looks crisp and sharp. The only bad thing on this panel is the color accuracy is less than average among other ultrabooks. The touchscreen on this 11.6 inch panel has been very smooth and highly responsive. Scrolling and multi-touch gestures were very precise. Overall this touchscreen panel does a great job. The viewing angles on this IPS panel is good, however the glossy coating on this panel is extremely reflective. This is a 2-in-1 laptop so you're going to get those 4 multiple modes. First mode obviously is your laptop mode, followed by your stand mode. This mode will be useful for watching Netflix in bed, followed by your tent mode. This mode will be useful for looking up recipes or touch based games. And last but not least is your tablet mode. I personally find this mode pretty comfortable because of its weight and size. At 2.42 pounds and 11.6 inch screen, this combo is pretty good. So let's talk about CPU performance. This laptop features the Intel Core M3 6Y30, which offers great performance for day to day applications like Office and Netflix. It's fast and efficient for light duty work. Just don't expect too much from this CPU and you'll be fine. If you need more horsepower, step up to the 14 inch Yoga 700. The Intel HD Graphics 515 offers performance that is pretty close to the old Intel HD 4400 which is found in the 4th generation Intel chips. Games like Minecraft and League of Legends will run fine on this chip. I was getting around 30 to 40 frames per second on low settings at 1920 by 1080 p Just don't expect to run high end games like Fallout 4 and Battlefield 4 as you'll be disappointed. Next up is battery performance. In real world usage I'm getting around 4 to 5 hours with medium screen brightness. And this is what most users will get while watching Netflix, YouTube, and working on Office applications. The 720p HD webcam does a good job. It's wide, and the quality of the video is actually solid for a webcam. The speakers are located on the bottom, and they sound good. The bass is lacking, however the mids and highs are well balanced. Overall, the sound quality is average for a notebook. The keyboard on this notebook is solid. It's well spaced for a small compact notebook and the feedback from these keys offer great confidence. The only cons I have on this keyboard is the short key travel at 1.2mm and the absence of a backlit keyboard. The Yoga 700 features a large buttonless trackpad and the surface feels pretty good. The performance from it is very precise. Tracking and two finger scrolling is smooth like butter. The only issue I encountered is the lack of multi-touch. Here's a quick look at the internal components of the Yoga 700 11.6 inch model. In terms of noise, well there is none. The Intel Core M36Y30 requires no fan, so this notebook is whisper quiet. SSD performance from this drive has been fast. Boot up times and the overall system response is quick. So let's get to the conclusion of the Lenovo Yoga 700. The 11.6 inch model of this notebook is a great compact notebook to take on the road. It offers great battery life, a fast SSD, an efficient Core M3 processor that will get the job done for most applications and a solid design and build to go with it. The only cons I have is the lack of a backlit keyboard and short key travel. However, the pros outweigh the cons on this notebook. If you can catch it on sale at Best Buy for $500, then that's a steal. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the Lenovo Yoga 700. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smash on that like button 
And don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.